tonight is Halloween, the night when witches, goblins, and ghosts howl and shriek and scare the life out of people. But unlike the other ghosts, is Casper. He doesn't want to scare people. He just wants to be friendly. Here's some candy for us. Ah! <laughs> oh, real ghost! <laughs> <laughs> some ghost. Yeah, she thought you was for real. <laughs> Try and go. Change your partner, skip to the loo, change your partner, skip to the loo, just to scallop. 
fiddles will round him out. Wake up, Bob. Here's some grub. Wow! More chow! Gee, boss, you're gonna slay me with your kindness.
Savage Dog? What a story! Give it a full page spread. Hello, Jackson. If you don't dig up some more dirt in that can can canine case, you'll be in the doghouse. Hey, Snapper, did you get any sensational pictures today? Yes, boss. I got a terrific picture. Watch this. Wait, this is a picture of a polar bear in a snowstorm. Doggone it, I want a sensational picture. Like an earthquake. <laughs> or a flood. Or a hurricane. <laughs> and don't come back without it. What a sensational picture this will make! Help! I'm gonna jump! Hold it. Okay. My picture is ruined. General Barker, how about a picture, sir? <clears throat> well, just one, boy. Thanks, General. Just a minute, sir. Steady now, General. As a photographer, I'm a flop. My gosh, a bank holdup. Oh boy, that's Muggsy. How about a smile, Muggsy? Nobody takes Muggsy's picture, say. The cops! All right, Muggsy. Come on, put your hands up. Yeah, you got me, coppers. Don't shoot, say. Hold it. Nobody takes Muggsy's picture. Give me that camera. A sensational picture. Who's this? Why, this is Muggsy, public enemy number one. Oh, call it, I want a sensational picture. Like an earthquake. <laughs> or a flood. Yeah, boss, or a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Can 
I won't come back without it, boss. <laughs> Casper grew up and started to act like a real ghost. Those witches said their brew would take effect immediately. So long, pal. I'll see you tomorrow. Hurry up and mix that brew in Casper's milk. He's coming. <laughs> how you've grown. I, I just don't know what happened. Casper, at last you're a man like us. Think of what he could do on a scale rate. Casper, how about a sample of your vocal strength? Or perhaps a little boo? If you don't mind, I'll give out with a small hello. Hello! Before he brings the house down. Well, at least the roof is still standing. Golly, I wonder what happened to Casper. He's holding up the roof. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what I could do. Either he joins us in our scare raid or out he goes. Let's not get him violent or he'll throw us out. Oh, where are you going, Casper? To look for a friend. Haven't you outgrown that? You can never outgrow friendship. Say, that sure is a fine-looking snowman. He should be. It took us three days to build him. Say, you're a, a, a... Now wait, don't be frightened. A giant ghost! Gosh, this is terrible. Even the children run from me. There's Wendy, the poor little witch girl. Big or small, she'll always be my friend. But the shock of seeing me this big might frighten her. I've got it. I'll let her see me in easy stages. Hello, Wendy. Who said that? Down here. It's me, Casper. Ah! Casper! You know better than to frighten me like that. But I did this so you wouldn't be frightened. Now stop acting like a silly boy. Go up, Casper. Okay, Wendy, but now, just what do you mean by not wanting to scare me? Ah! 
wait, Casper, wait! Please, Casper, no more boos and screeches. We have a confession to make. The witches gave us this brew which made you big. I'm beginning to like being big, thanks to you and the witches. Tell the witches to give you an antidote. We don't like you big. It's too shocking. Okay, Wendy, here goes the antidote. I don't need any magic to make me big, Wendy. When I'm with you, I always feel ten feet tall. <laughs> Kid, you bother me.
quite a time keeping you two out of mischief. Hmm. I bet you kittens would be better off in a nice home. I hate to do this, fellas, but it's for your own good. Oh, what adorable kitten. Gee, I'll sure miss those little guys. Now, I suppose you kitties want some milk, hmm? without my little friends. Boss, bring your horse right in. I'm got a plan of seats. That infernal pounding is interfering with the concert and must be stopped immediately. Stop the pounding. I'm a pounder for 45 years, and I'm a no stopper now. Okay, Luigi, money talks. How much do you want for this place? The Luigi family have been in this business for centuries. I'm no break the family tradition for no amount of money. You're making a big mistake. I mean, you're making a big mistake. A big mistake. here all at the time. <laughs> Some thing I'm thinking she's wrong. I'm a thing I'm a loser the strength. Oh no. I'm a forgot to take my iron tonic. Did 
Someone call for a doctor. Doc, you just eat the time. I'm losing my strength. <laughs> my good man, you have an advanced case of acute flopitis. Can, can I be cured? Only if you give up your strenuous occupation. Go back to sunny Italy and retire. R retire? That's your only hope. Just one minute. I pack my clothes. Oh, mamma mia. No can leave the heirloom behind. Oh, thank you, doctor. You saved my life. Goodbye, Luigi. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, doc. Hey, look, doc. I got my strength back. Stop that pounding! The show must go on! The show must go on! But, but, you ruined the music! This is a music to my ears! from Mighty Eagle. Prove them, you fearless warrior. Me make them, you brave of tribe. <laughs> me bring them feather to Big Chief. Be one of me heap big brave in tribe. Him no eagle feather. Him phony. Must get them tail feather from eagle. Eagle very vicious bird of prey. This job for warrior, not papoose. Me get him real eagle feather. Show him me no papoose. What's the big idea? Me got him have eagle tail feather to become him heap big wave. Look, I'm getting thick and tired of you guys snitching my feathers. An eagle's feathers are his pride and joy. I've only got one tail feather left, and I'm hanging on to it. Now go home and tell your squaw she wants you. <laughs> are beginning to get under my skin. Why does it always have to be an eagle feather? Why can't it be a chicken feather or something? If you don't stop trying to get my tail feather, you're gonna wind up being the last of the Mohicans. Now scram! Beat it! I 
I gotta find some way to protect my feather. tail feather from mighty eagle you no longer papoose you now brave of tribe <laughs> 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 Wendy, I'll see what I can do. 
Gosh, he jumped right into the river. Mr. House, will you please go home? Oh, oh, oh nothing doing. Now I can be a houseboat with him. Nothing to do but drift along and see the world. Oh, listen, what's that roaring noise? Gosh, a giant waterfall. Mr. House will be crushed if he goes over it. Oh, Mr. Waterfall! The gold! Oh, thank you, Casper. If it weren't for you, I'd be nothing but pieces of driftwood by now. I'm going back home where I belong. I wonder why they're heading for that old castle. Hold on, boys. That old castle isn't your home. Yes, that pesky spoke again. The house has already gone back, so why don't you fellows? We're too high class to live in that old broken down house. We belong in our castle. All right, let's go. Wait! I must get those kitchen cut-ups to go back. Uh-oh, this is the ogre's castle. Ha! I'll melt down all this junk and make myself a new sword. I'll become invisible so that I don't scare him. Stop! You mustn't do that to my friends. Hey, who said that? I did. Casper. Hey, it's Casper. He's come to our rescue. Invisible spooks talking cattle to war. Oh, my castle is haunted! Come on, Casper. No more running away for us. Ho, ho, ho. We didn't know how good we had it. Well, running away was your idea. Oh, don't blame me. The table and the chair started it. Just wait till we get home. We'll fix those guys. Here's your kettle and silverware, Wendy. I'm glad they're back. But what are they angry about? They're all blaming each other for starting things. You guys got us into this mess. Says you. Yeah, it was all your fault. Oh, we didn't do anything you did. Are you looking for trouble? How much longer does this witching hour last, Wendy? My book of magic says it lasts from midnight to cock crow, Casper. It's a long time until cock crow. They'll wreck the place if we don't do something quick. Wendy, I've got an idea. Hurry, Casper, before everything is broken. I'll try getting a rooster to crow and end this awful witching hour. Wake up, Mr. Rooster. Gosh, he's sleeping so soundly I can't wake him. Maybe I can get his attention if I enter his dreams. Hello there. I'm Casper. <laughs> Golly, I didn't mean to scare him. Is everything all right, Wendy? Yes, Casper. The witching hour is over. Everything is back to normal. I hope there's some of your delicious brew left. Here, I made another batch that I hope won't brew up any more trouble. <laughs> Well, that's all right, sir, because I don't want to scare anybody anyway. Oh, you! I'm going to try and find me some friends. Fifteen men 
on a dead man's chest. Hoist the anchor and shove off, mate. Wait for me. Wait for me. I want to play pirates, too. Go home, Billy. You're too little to play pirates. I'm not too little. I want to play pirates. I want to play pirates. <laughs> Nobody wants me for a friend. Nobody can mute me on my ship. Get back there, you club. Hoist the gang plank. Uh, hello. I'm Captain Billy the pirate. Who are you? My name is Casper. Hey, Casper. Would you like to play pirate with me? Oh, boy, would I? How are we going to tie this together, Casper? I found some rope. Gee, Casper, you're a twiggy one. Shut a head. <laughs> 
Try taking my guns. Watch this. That's mighty pretty shooting, stranger. That ain't nothing. Watch this. <laughs> One false move, Sheriff, and you're a dead duck. your guns now, Dirty Dan. No, you don't. I'm a taking you in. Kingdom. In the royal palace lives the bachelor king 
And here lives the population. 105 happily married couples, all joined together by Monsieur Renoir, the official matchmaker for the kingdom. Each morning, precisely at seven. A grand procession emerges from the palace. First, the king. Then, the minister of war. The secretary of the treasure. The bureau of motor vehicle. The air force. <laughs> and so on, according to rank. At exactly 7.03, the procession passes the residence of Monsieur Renoir. <laughs> and the parade, she is over. Who ever call out the parade? Filthy! Who make from my chateau the dump of the village? Quelle humiliation! And so at night, the good people sleep with smiles on their faces, serene in the knowledge that in the morning there will be another parade precisely at seven o'clock. A man of my prestige should not shovel the garbage. Oui. It is degrading. Oui. You do it. Stupid. Moi, no. Pourquoi vous ne faites Please. pas quelque chose? How can I marry oh, people if I am shoveling garbage all day? Enough! Cette fois, je finis avec l'affaire garbage. Monsieur, I have the complaint. Every morning at seven, the king, the premier, the ministers, army, navy, department sanitaire, boom, plop, filthy, disgusting. Bravo, bravo. A performance magnifique, Monsieur Renoir. But for the garbage, you must see the Minister of the Sanitary. Each morning at seven. Ratatatam, ratatatam, ratatatatatam, tarararam, the king, ratatatam, the premier, ratatatam, then all the ministers, boom, ratatatam, army, ratatatam, navy, ratatatam, department sanitaire, boom. Plop! Filthy! Disgusting! Monsieur Renoir, obviously it is the hole in the street that makes the garbage to fall out. For that, you must see the Minister of Broken Boulevard. Ratatatam, ratatatam, ratatatatatam, tarararam, the king, ratatatam, the premier, ratatatam, then all the ministers, boom! Ratatatam, army, ratatatam, navy, ratatatam, department sanitaire, boom, plop, filthy, disgusting. Monsieur Renoir, there is absolutely no record of the hole in your street. This is the record. Monsieur, this hole in the street, she is very big? No, petit. Then the answer, she is simple. No! You would say no to the war hero? War hero? The war of 86, Battle of Saxon River, Duffelberg Offensive, Zutz of Forest, and the Battle of the Bulge. For the war hero, something must be done. The hole in the street, she will now be fixed. Poof. Elevation, three meters north, one meter west. Circumference, nine meter and the half. Capacity, three fifths and the pint. Monsieur Renoir, you are a very lucky man. I kiss all your cheeks. Mwah, mwah. You do not have the hole in the street. Officially, it is nothing but a lousy dent. There is nothing to fix. Eh bien, the hole. She is fixed. It is not the hole. Only the lousy dent. See? 
official document. Stupide! Un imbécile, je look! Comme vous êtes idiot! This time, I go right to the top! Monsieur Renoir, the matchmaker! Merci, 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 merci! Arise, Monsieur Renoir. Your Highness, as official matchmaker, I have long tried to find you the wife. Oui? At last, I have found the woman. Oh? An American movie star. <laughs> it is the fashion. All the kings are married to the movie star. <laughs> Shall I sign the contract? I'll sign, I'll sign! Just one thing, Your Highness. Uh, when the gorgeous movie star rides in the morning parade, she will say, poof, to you. You have the shabby kingdom. Uh, the shabby kingdom? Oui. Uh, she will see the hole in the street in front of my house. Oh, I will take care of that. Voila! And so our story has two happy endings. The king is married to the gorgeous American movie goddess. And the parade no longer passes in front of the matchmaker's house. Et vive la patrie! La roi, la reine, et vive la patrie! To my brilliant husband! <laughs> Naturellement! Imbécile! Cochon! Vous vous faites comme un idiot! Stupide! Meet a new friend. Huh? A baby ghost. Oh, a ghost! Wait a minute. You're a ghost yourself. Why are you running away? Hmm. That's right, isn't it? I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Can I help you? Oh, Casper, I'm lost. <laughs> If you tell me where you're from, I'll take you home. But I don't know where I'm from. <laughs> Listen, what's your name? Maybe that will give me a clue. My name? Hmm. Clarence? No. Red Snoot? No. Think hard. Oscar? No. Sally? Sally is a girl's name. Tom? Dick? Harry? I give up. Well, let's see. I'll, I'll have to call you something. Something. That's a dandy name. No, no, no. You don't understand. Something. Boy, what a name. Oh, well. Maybe something will do. Come on, something. We've got to find your home. <laughs> now what's wrong? I don't want to go to my home. I want to go to your home. <laughs> okay. I'll take you home with me for the night. Let's hurry. I'm afraid of the dark. But you're a ghost. But I'm just a baby ghost, and I haven't learned any ghostly ways yet. Well, I can teach you. Oh, boy. Can you teach me to fly? OK. A lot depends on the takeoff. Whee! I can fly! Now, Casper, will you teach me how to become invisible? Sure. It's easy. All you have to do is Gee, is that all there is to it? Sure, try it. Well, here goes, Casper. Whee! It worked! I'm invisible! Now come on home, and tomorrow I'll teach you some other things. Goody! I keep hearing noises. This place must be haunted. Don't be scared. It's only something crying. I know it's something, but what? Just a minute. I'll show you. 
Stop crying and I'll tell you how to become visible again. Now, you this. Thanks, Casper. Here I am. Look, a baby ghost. His name is something, and he's lost. Great. We'll keep him and help him grow up to be a big, bad ghost. Boy, that'll be fun. My friend Casper's teaching me how to be a big, bad ghost. No, you've got it wrong, something. I'm teaching you ghostly ways so that you can be helpful to others. Fully. Splendid. I can't wait to take him on a scare raid. Can you fly? Good. Casper taught me. Wow. He's gonna grow up to be just like us. Hey, he went right through the roof. Oh, boy, I'm gonna have some fun. <gasps> Drat that pesky kid. <laughs> Don't they look funny? They're awfully mad at you. No, we're not. Huh? He suits us fine. Yeah. Shows he'll grow up like us. But I want something to be our friendly ghost. Bah! One friendly ghost around a house is enough. What else can you do, something? I can disappear. Like this. See? Splendid. At any rate, Caspi, you're a good teacher. I like helping others. Come on, something. Show yourself. I'll show him. Upsy-daisy. Hey! What happened? Something. It's you. Who'd you expect? Mother Goose? That does it. Wait, he didn't mean any harm. I'll do some harm when I get my hands on him. Goody, they want to play tag. Please, stop. Which way did he go? This away. No, that away. Something. Drop that stick. Oh, all right. <laughs> Look, he's sorry for what he's done, aren't you? Oh, sure. But not much. This boy has got to go. He's too bad, even for us. Don't worry, something. I'll stay around until you're found. Something. My little baby, I've found you. Mama. What do you know? Something really is his name. Are you all right, baby? Sure. Casper took care of me. When I grow up, I want to be friendly, just like him. Now, isn't that something?